And there's a lot of people who are super productive and very unhappy. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. We put these expectations on ourselves. Hey, we're gonna make a hundred calls every single day. And then you miss two days and you think, man, I'm, I'm a horrible, I'm, I'm slacking. But you missed it because you were showing property, which is something super productive. So where do you draw the line on your happiness versus your production? Happiness versus production. So what I want you to do is not be so hard on yourself. If you're busy all day doing productive activities, don't worry about the results. You could be too tied to your results. What the results are gonna be at the end of the year. You might've made a plan to make a million dollars in a year and you said, I have to get this many listings per week or per month, I have to make this many calls, I have to go on this many appointments so that I can make the million. And so January, February, March rolls around and you haven't hit all those little goals and you think to yourself, I'm not going to hit that million and you start to become very frustrated and down on yourself. This happened to me in 2014 when I made 600,000, I wanted to make a million the next year and what, exactly what I just said is what happened. It looked like I was going to make 600 again, I became very frustrated. I put together this plan, I really wanted to execute, make the million and I became almost depressed, kind of crazy like a guy making 600,000 depressed. But that year was a big turning point for me in terms of my happiness versus production and I had to understand patience and I had to understand that that it's not in your hands. The results are not in your hands. The only thing that's in your hands are, act or what are your actions every day. What you're gonna do on a daily basis. If you had it set, you're gonna do 200 calls every day and you didn't make the, the 200 calls one day because you were showing property, you're going to listing appointments or doing other things that are super productive, you can't be hard on yourself about that. And so then at the end of the week, you say, I didn't make the amount of calls I needed to make to hit the results I wanted to hit. You know, so you, there's this place in life. A lot of people are either really happy and non-productive. And there's a lot of people who are super productive and very unhappy. And the super productive people are unhappy because they're always moving their goals out further. Every time they get close, they move it out further. And they move it out further and they move it out further. And they can, they, 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 this is a vicious cycle and they're never happy with herself. And in 2015, when I went through this, I realized that there's a gray area. There's a place where you can be extremely happy with yourself and with your production and happy and satisfied with everything going on in your life, but also super incredibly hungry and motivated to go to the next level. And that's where I live. This is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And it's because the level of happiness, like, like I'm not where I want to be income wise and financially and all that, like I have way bigger goals. But I found that gray area where I'm happy with what I do get done. See what I'm saying? And now I'm not focused on the results, I'm focused on my actions day to day. I know that I'm gonna grind as hard as I can and when I go to sleep at night, I know I gave it all I had. If I wake up December 31st and I only sell 50 properties this year instead of 100, I'm gonna be still just as happy because I know I did everything I could do to sell those 50. And that was all the only results that was gonna come out the other side of my actions. Past clients, new clients, you gotta find the balance. If you wanna exponentially grow your business, you have to find the balance in getting new clients and also maintaining past clients. That's the only time that you grow. A lot of agents either only concentrate on past clients or they only concentrate on new clients. They have nothing on the back end to keep in touch. So they're either only focusing on their sphere and their past clients or they're only focusing on new clients. But the top producers, they've got it figured out. They're doing this weekly email thing that Ricky talks about and they, they stay in touch with their past clients, develop those relationships stronger and stronger and stronger over the years as the clients understand he's for real because he sends this thing every Wednesday while still going after new clients to put into that funnel. The bigger your database grows, the larger your income.